Now, forewarn weather with exclusive cutting edge technology to help keep you and your family safe. It is so horrible down there. I'm just wondering, like, meteorolo meteorologically, what is going on? I mean, this type of time of year, it just seems unusual to see such devastating storms. Well, two things. First of all, with climate change, we're actually seeing a shift eastward mm -hmm. of the tornado area down south. And also, we're seeing an increase in nocturnal, in other words, nighttime tornadoes. And those mm -hmm. are the ones that kill the most people. So. Yeah. You know, we're seeing a lot of things going on, but you know, over the past couple of days, two different major metropolitan areas have been hit, New Orleans and the Dallas Fort Worth area, Rhonda. And you know, you know, usually we're talking about some small community that is devastated. Now this time it was major metropolitan areas. Now around here, again, we're not gonna complain one bit. We have missed out on all of the fall severe weather here. We have missed out. We had some high wind events the last couple, three weeks, but nothing like what they're seeing elsewhere. All right, you can see our big batch of moisture is well off to the east here. And so uh, basically, if we head down to the south, there's really nothing that's coming our way. And if we widen things out, I want to take you down to Florida for one second here, because in Florida, that's where today's severe threat is. And you can see there is a line of storms there that is crossing the state. In fact, why don't we just actually do a little box zoom here and just show you who's getting affected. I know a lot of you have family and friends down in Florida. So we're talking the Tampa St. Pete area to Sarasota, ready to get to Bradenton. So yeah, this is all a line of strong storms crossing the Florida Peninsula this afternoon. This is day three in a row of severe weather that we've had associated with this big storm that's across the country. All right, look at the city airport. You're at 46 degrees. So city of Detroit's in the mid 40s. Same thing at Gros Ile. Most of the rest of us are in the low 40s right now. And we have a lot of clouds, but we also have breaks of sun out there. And another piece of good, I'm full of good news. A lot, a lot of good news here because we have the wind is dropping. Remember this morning we had gusts to 40 miles per hour in spots. Now, I mean, we're basically eh, five to 10, five to 13 mile per hour sustained winds with just a couple of places reporting some minor gusts. So we're doing just fine. And if you, today's a good shopping day for you, if you need to get that shopping done, you'll be able to do that. Now, again, we have those breaks and it should be dry most of the day. Technically, we do have this front coming through. So technically there is the chance for a spotty shower, but I'm not seeing a whole lot of it being depicted on the model. Maybe this evening, a couple. Now tomorrow, starting off with partial sunshine, but then we cloud up and look what happens by the end of the day. Scattered flurries or very light uh, snow showers uh, dotting the area. All right, let's talk about the Christmas storms or storm. We're not sure yet because there is wide differences in the models. This is the European model. We're focusing on Thursday into Friday. The low comes just to our south here, putting a big area of accumulating snow. I mean, multiple inches across the area. However, if you look at the American GFS model, that low is going to be much farther south. And look at that area much farther south. We just get grazed by it with maybe some lake effect in the thumb giving you a coating. So we're not going to get specific about anything. It would be very irresponsible to do that. But just pointing it on your radar, this thing could cause travel trouble a day or two before Christmas. Big travel day, so we're watching it for you. All right, 44 or so for the high this afternoon. Some areas will stay in the mid 40s. Less wind in those breaks of sun. Tomorrow, 37 for the high. Notice we're getting cooler. And then low 30s for the weekend. Wind chills in the afternoon will be around 20. And we keep the cold air all the way into next week. And bitter cold for Christmas weekend, Rhonda. All right. Time to hunker down at home with the family. Still